Despite all our efforts to stay healthy, there is one condition which none of us can outrun, aging. And I'm not just talking about gray hair or wrinkled skin, but some serious challenges such as diabetes, dementia, Alzheimer's, cancer, the list goes on, all of which are consequences of aging. We could limit the prevalence of all these diseases if we could simply tackle aging. What if I tell you that there is a drug which has the potential to not only extend our lifespan, but also to protect us from these aging associated diseases? You're going to have a very obvious question now, why are we not taking this drug already then? Well, that's because the drug also has some side effects. While eliminating the harmful processes which are responsible for aging, the drug ends up targeting some important processes also. But just imagine how much we could benefit if we could restrict the effect of the drug to only the harmful processes. Much like you know, how we want a herbicide to eliminate only the weeds in our garden while leaving the rest of the plants completely unaffected. The problem, however, is that at this point, we don't really know what are these harmful processes that are responsible for aging. And that's because we don't have the tools to study that. This is exactly what my project aims to address. To make a mouse model that would allow us to identify these harmful processes. To do so, I'm going to insert a modified gene in the mouse that would control the effect of the drug in such a way that the drug would only be effective in those parts of the body where the gene is active. In simpler words, I could use this model to limit the effect of the drug to only some specific parts of the body by leaving the rest of the body completely unaffected. And by, let's say, for example, someone comes to me and says that, Ayush, I think if the drug was targeting only the heart and the brain, that would have been the most beautiful th therapy. Sure. I could check that with my model. And by doing similar experiments, I would be able to narrow down what parts of the body do we really need to target to ensure an effective and safe anti-aging therapy. This drug, which is known as rapamycin, is the most promising candidate we have so far. And although aging is inevitable, we could use this drug to help us age better. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.